2007, this book landed on my desk, America's Best Lost Recipes. And I immediately was captured by this recipe here. It's called Peach Puzzle. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I've put off trying it for a few years because it's a little bit of a challenge, but today we're gonna to give it a shot. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to peel our peaches. And I have found a nifty little way to do this, just like you would if you were peeling your tomato. So what you take your peach, and you don't wanna use the top, you wanna to use the bottom, and you just score it. And don't score it all the way to the pit. Just kinda of put a little X in there and drop it in the water. And you want it to sit for about a minute, not much more than a minute because you want it soft enough where the peel will come off, but you don't want it too soft where you get mush all over your hands. You can kind of tell when the peel starts to loosen. It'll kind of separate away, away from the other piece of the peel. You should be able to just kind of peel back like this. I have seven peeled peaches, a nine inch casserole. Actually, this is a nine and a half inch pie plate and a ramekin. Take your ramekin, you put it upside down. You put your peeled peaches around it. Then I'm going to make a syrup that we pour over it. I'm gonna make a dough that we put on top of it and we let it bake. And then once it's baked, supposedly I flip it over and all of the juices that have come from the peaches will magically be sucked up into this ramekin. We'll see if it works. We'll start with a little butter. We're making our uh, syrup now. And some brown sugar. This is water. A dash of salt. And some vanilla. Well, we just need to let that melt. Not everything's good and dissolved. We're just going to pour it. I don't know that I have to pour it over every one of the peaches, but I'm going to. Now we're going to make some dough. All-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. I've got five tablespoons of chilled butter that we need to drop in just a little at a time. And we put that in there. Now I just need to fold in six tablespoons of milk. Now I'll put a little flour down here and we're gonna roll this dough out. I really wanted to buy a pie crust, but I decided to try this. <laughs> and my pie crust is falling apart big time. So for all you bakers out there, just shake your head and go, my God, the woman doesn't know what she's doing. Well, you're right, but that's okay. It's going to taste good. So we pick up this thing and we put it over as best that we can. You don't want to adhere the crust to the pie plate, which is a good thing since my crust isn't really even long enough to adhere to the pie plate. Works for me. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, well now, okay, I spilled a little, but check this out. There is some juice in there. I totally botched this recipe, but that's okay, because I'm gonna challenge you all to take the recipe and make it and send me a picture of it, because I know that there are bakers out there that can do this. I'm just not a baker. <laughs>